<laughs> Man, we have some stupid people within this niche. We're gonna get into that in a second though, because I just want to say, you're looking fantastic. Have I told you that recently? Because you are. Have you done something with your hair? Anyway, straight into the meat and potatoes. As we talk about the recent mainstream media's attack on social media and the assistance thereof of people within our community that have, have helped, have helped. Now look, you've either got to think, look, these people, they knew what they were doing and they walked into it knowing full well that maybe they were being honest about the niche in the, in the way that they wanted it to be perceived. Or they're stupid as fuck. And I apologise if you're not stupid, you knew what you was doing, and you did it, and the outcome was as intended. And look, <laughs> I know I stated recently that I wouldn't go on to the Drunk Turkey show, and I've been talking to Daniel off of the platform, so on and so forth, and perhaps in the future we would do a show together. I just want to make it categorically known that I will not appear on that channel, ever. And my communications off-platform with Daniel will cease as of this moment. Because what there was an opportunity to do there that was missed was for people involved in that channel to have spoken about this niche properly and to put this argument across, which I'm going to do now. And look, this isn't about hating on other channels at all. You know, I know, it can't, it, well, it is to a degree because I'm, I'm annoyed, I'm pissed off that for the most part, no channel, not even the Drunk Turkey Show, their intentions are ever bad. But that, what that did was kind of enabled mainstream media to get them to apologise for shit that they didn't need to apologise for. And what do I mean by that? Look, they, the mainstream media has come out and they've basically attacked. And if you want to see what I'm specifically talking about, head down below, click on the link, head over to JB Gunner, because he goes over this as well. And it's actually got segments of Daniel from the Drunk Turkey Show, Blue and so on, and the statements that are made by their reporters, and uh, you'll see it, you'll see it. I don't want to do a disservice to JB and Nick the Limelight. Like I say, I like setting the stage, setting the chairs, getting you comfortable and sending you away. Not now, I'm important, so wait, wait. But anyway, look, the point being is that social media, this platform, YouTube, is about entertainment. It's about entertainment predominantly. And what channels like mine does is hopefully enables people to look at cases that are out there and discuss them. We look at the different nuances of the cases. We discuss potential situations that could be apparent within them. We discuss things that are coming up, the rumours, and we look at these rumours and we look to see whether they hold credibility or not. And we debunk where there is debunking that needs doing, and we de deep dive into situations that could predominantly be positive in an outcome. But what's being said here is that social media are doing damage. Because we're not professionals, professionals, we should stay away, we should keep our mouth shut, we should not discuss, and that to me, is like saying you can't, you have no right to talk about this. You have no right to speculate. You have no right to get like minded people and speculate about it. Now, what I do understand is you shouldn't go on to a channel and do a video that states, I know that this person is involved in this crime. I know that this person did this. I know that this person is guilty of that when you have absolutely no proof whatsoever, and by doing so, you are wrongfully damaging someone's life or putting them at risk in some way. I know that. I'm not a fucking idiot. But who does do that? And who does do that consistently? 
and cleverly with carefully worded titles. And then later on in smaller writing, they'll perhaps do some legal cover to themselves to protect them. Oh, well, I know this was this, but we did state down here that, you know, this was complete speculation and we, we, we don't really know what the fuck we're talking about. But the damage has been done because as people do not watch an entire YouTube video, people do not read word for word every single line inside of a mainstream media news article. They will look at the big letters, they will look at, you know, the outlying pieces of it and what it's trying to say, and they will then fill in the blanks themselves. So mainstream media, it's okay for them to speculate and vilify the likes of Brian Koberger, for instance, in the Idaho Fall case, who at this point in time, as of making this video, has not been found guilty. So he is, by legal standing, an innocent man who has been accused of a crime which he may or may not have committed. But we are not allowed to speculate on the eight-hour time delay from the surviving members of 1122 King Road. We can't. We, you, because you're not a professional, you can't talk about it, you can't speculate, you can't have a discussion on why you think that that may have happened, you can't speculate on whether, you know, could drugs have been a, a factor in this crime? You, you, you're just not allowed. Just shut up. But you can do a video that says... Brian Koberger, definitely guilty. Oh, yeah, he, he done it. Shoot him. You can do that. You can say anything that you like as long as it goes hand in hand with the narrative that is being pushed by law enforcement and mainstream media. But anything else you are not allowed to discuss, not even in speculation. And that is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I would hope that this channel and the community, and this is an amazing community here. You know, I, I, I'm not saying this is the only community or the only channel, sorry, that has an amazing community. I just know that for the most part, we have an amazing community. And one that I would hope that what I have stared towards is a community that can have differences of opinion and discuss them openly and be able to understand where each other's coming from and why they may draw a certain conclusion. And even if you don't agree, you can understand and appreciate their opinion. And that's all this is. This is just us talking about our opinions. This is just us talking about whether you know, we feel that it was the right thing or the wrong thing for there to be such a delay in calling 911. Or whether we feel that Brian Koberger could be the person who did it. And if he did, then why did he do it? What, he was jealous of the fact that there was young girls in this property who had TikTok accounts and would do TikTok videos and, and these sort of things. You know, or, or whether if that doesn't fit, then what else could it be? And if it wasn't, Brian, who else in this vicinity would make sense? They go on to say and show a friend of Brent Kopacker's and say that basically social media channels like mine, channels who discussed um, Brent Kopacker in a negative light, destroyed that man's legacy. Well, that guy's legacy was destroyed as soon as he left his his position in the military and the military failed to address and to care for him after he left you know the, the damage that was done for 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 governments who can't help but stick their fucking nose in other people's business and get guys like Brent Kopacker to do the fight and to see the atrocities that come of it but after they've finished with them, they toss them out like a, like a broken fucking toy in a skip. And they do not provide them with what they need to go into society and function normally. And when it goes to shit, you get SWAT that just lights out. 
and then they try and cover it and hide it so people don't see it. And even the obituaries that read that it was caused by a traumatic brain injury. Well, you know, the traumatic brain injury was just part of it. But what actually happened was that he wasn't cared and looked after for by the very country that he fought for. Because there's funding limitations in mental health and, you know, and the rehabilitation of people because they're too busy pumping, like in the UK, eight and a half thousand pounds a fucking minute into nuclear weaponry. You know, this is what destroys legacies, not us thinking to ourselves, well, Brian Koberger, he might not have fitted this crime, we don't know, but this other guy, by the way, who lived a stone throw away from Brian Koberger, around the time that all this happened, he apparently held his roommates up with a gun and was shot by SWAT. So if it wasn't Brian Koberger, would it make sense that he could have possibly been involved in it? Not saying he would, but what I'm saying is, if Brian didn't do it, there has got to be an alternative, hasn't there? Unless you're saying that you can't consider that there is an alternative. It's definitely 100% Brian Koberger. He's guilty. He's fucked. Regardless, what's the more dangerous route to take or stance to take? Let me know down below. Do you, is it just that we are indeed like what they tried to state that Daniel and the Drunk Turkey Show was just simply about? It was just about conspiracy theories. Their, their channel was born on a foundation of wanting to cover conspiracy theories and they've taken that sort of that foundation into true crime and that's what they now do. They turn these crimes into a conspiracy theory. Is it conspiracy theory to when, before a person has been tried and found guilty of a crime, to consider other options other than those, them people being guilty when there are factors around the situation that could make sense as an alternative. And is it, like I say, is it wrong for us to con contemplate, consider it, discuss it? Because I thought contemplation, consideration, speculation was fine. As long as you didn't turn around and say, I know for a fact this person is guilty. And put that out into the world without proof of it. And even then you have to be fucking careful. Let me know down below. It's been a rant. I'll catch you all on the next one.